why does the Son of God become man? That's the big question, isn't it? Why does the Son of God become man in Jesus? I mean, he's God. He's surrounded by the angel choirs, surrounded by the heavenly host, by the four living creatures guarding the throne and the multitudes of the heavenly creatures singing his praises eternally. So why would he set all of that aside and come to earth where it's either too hot or too cold or too happy or too sad or too wet or too dry. Besides, Satan prowls around here, wreaking havoc and rejoicing at the disasters that befall mankind. Maybe that's why the Son of God becomes man. He becomes man to do what you cannot to fulfill God's law where you fail, to pay the penalty for all of your sin, to overcome death, to conquer the devil and all his works and all his ways, to restore creation to what it once was before Adam and Eve were led astray by Satan. And in all of this, Jesus works through the things of creation as he does his restorative work. He takes dirt and spit and makes mud to heal a blind man. He takes a couple of fish and a, and a few pitas, and he feeds thousands. He takes water, and he makes it into the finest of wines. He touches what is broken and restores it. Tongues, ears, even the dead. Now, it's easy in our day to think that we have a God who doesn't care who is disinterested in lowly, pitiful humanity. Who are we that the Almighty should even care about us? Look to Jesus for the answer. Not only does he become man to live our lives, to die our deaths, and to rise in our resurrections, not only does he use the things of this world to fix what is broken, he also ties the things of this world to his miraculous gifts. Plain water like this, tied to his word to wash us clean of sin and holy baptism. Ordinary bread and regular wine become his holy body and his precious blood that give us the forgiveness of our sins, eternal life, and everlasting salvation in the Lord's Supper. And he breathes his peace upon his disciples, who then send their disciples, and so on, until your pastor is sent to you, and he uses his very human hands, not unlike the hands of Jesus, to place those same gifts upon your head and into your mouths. Why does the Son of God become man? to come into our broken world and redeem and reclaim us so that we may have a place with him before that same throne that he occupies, that we may be together with angels and archangels and all of the company of heaven for all of eternity. We are the pro-life generation. That's what today's high school and university students are calling themselves. Why are youth for life? Lutherans for Life's Why for Life community helps answer the question. Why for Life engages and equips today's learners to be tomorrow's leaders through education, networking, and service. Learn more about bringing Why for Life to your church and school at whyforlife.org. That's the letter Y, the number 4, L-I-F-E dot org.